Hello everyone, Jemedi here, welcome back to my channel. In this video you will see our last fight in Tedland event. It was a blood bat. So let's start. Three, two, one, go! Uh, as, as you can see, our matchmaking was very bad. Now here we are on the map. On the right side our army, on the left side the enemy army. On the left side you have the Tideland Oracle uh, landmark and the right side the Absalom um, landmark. In the middle the Temple Shrine. These are the most important objective to take first because they give buff. So our uh, mission was to take this uh, landmark we had the strategy but uh, at the end uh, we didn't uh, use it uh, that much uh, strategy because uh, our opponent was very strong so misty continent sucks making uh, match making uh, on cross server events because we uh, were 20 days behind so they were more powerful than us but at the end we had a good fight now our first target as you can see target locked we took a piece of mine at uh, the beginning of the match, we did uh, good. We got a, a lot of points. We almost passed them on points, but slowly they started to win more because they had more army, more uh, Jameson, Lord equipment. So best strategy guys to use on this event is to keep busy your opponent with a team and other players to conquer the landmarks but you need uh, strong players now you can see here we gave a lot of fight but uh, in a few minutes we left <laughs> without army we as you can see i asked it to my clan to try to defend and conquer the middle shrine temple but we try the strategy with fake attacks to send one shoulder one troop just to make them think that they are under attack that didn't work but it was a heavy fight because even if we were uh, lower in power in items in level we almost win at the same point of the match because you're gonna see that we focused on the SOC boss they focused on Shrine Temple and other two landmarks but we we tried to to conquer all but we didn't have the army we had problems with players that had participated they didn't come online we used the reserve players that were not very strong as you can see here our first boss sock boss let's do it guys get him target locked and we are here teleporting because when sock boss uh, spawns you better teleport near him because you do you are doing faster attacks 
and hit shot. But yeah, guys, and uh, our first sock boss, we kill it. Yeah, uh, with sock boss, uh, we did a great job. Uh, soon you will see when they spawn the next boss. In Tideland event, uh, if you had luck. To encounter a low team, low clan, don't rush to conquer all la landmarks and finish in 15 minutes. Keep it all 45 minutes is best for our all players because you're gonna make more points that you're gonna spend in Thailand shop. It's a free stuff because you don't pay nothing. Only thing that I'm sure the Rival clan had a lot of gold because you need a lot of gold to heal troops and silver. But silver, you get uh, a little silver, you don't get much, only from gathering in mines that appear after 20 minutes. But you need a lot of gold for teleport troops because you get two free teleports, after that, you're gonna have to pay 2000 gold for teleport before you start the event it is very important that you guys color your troops in your castle because you can teleport on the tideland map because in tideland is another map it is another game so you have to have all your army in castle, prepare your buff, attack, shield, buy some speed ups, march speed ups because you're gonna need it and get some gold because you need a lot of gold. Now soon you're gonna see here we're gonna spawn next sock boss. We tried to rally them, but the problem was uh, some of us didn't uh, join it rally in time, and uh, we did rally with two or three players with no army. Here, our next boss. You can see we got. We teleported near and let's go guys, let's do it. Come on, fast and furious. <laughs> we had fun. You can't say we didn't have fun, but it was a hard match. So, yeah. Our second sock boss killed. We pass on next one. Here they started to attack the landmarks we had the concrete from the start of the match. They are preparing to win the match. Because uh, we were, uh, I think we were 30 players and they were 27 or 25. But again, I repeat, we they had 20 days ahead of us. Kingdom 55 versus Kingdom 59. So they had a lot of time, a second tide land for them. For us was uh, our first Tideland, but can't complain much because uh, same uh, that we we gave a lot of uh, headache to to them because uh, they had uh, the big mama. 
o Mama Queen, uh, Mama Queen, hi Mama Queen, great job, she is already stronghold 30 I think and over 200 million powers, so, yeah, she gave a lot of trouble. Uh, our strongest player, Reaper, had the health issue. He came uh, at the end of the Thailand. He helped us uh, conquering a few landmarks, but after that he lost his army too and he couldn't do much. But uh, the thing is uh, that even uh, like this, we, um, we didn't have time to make points because after a few uh, attacks we, uh, we made on them, we lost the most, uh, no most, all army we had. We didn't have gold, silver to heal our army. And here, our third and last stock boss, come on guys. Another Great one. job. And uh, yeah, we we had the uh, we did our best. We killed all three sock boss. There we made a lot of points, and uh, because we had on the our occupation the other the most important landmarks. So give a box and uh, more points no only two because the middle one they got it queen mama was her home in middle <laughs> so yeah and it uh, was a strange fight but uh, i'm very disappointed uh, about the uh, matchmaking at the misty continent i don't know i think they don't care they just put on standard and who gets it gets it and i think a lot of uh, players from all kingdoms uh, think the same way with me because it's a broken event and uh, here we are almost the end we don't know what to do because uh, we don't have army we don't have uh, resources gold silver to heal our troops and uh, it was nothing to do uh, to the gap was big, uh, more than 100k points. We couldn't uh, recuperate the points, uh, the big difference points. And set the point uh, happened this. <laughs> they attacked me and uh, my castle burned and I went to the safe zone and I gave up. I didn't have any others. And that's it guys. As you can see 200k difference. So yeah guys. Thank you for watching, this was a, was a very hard fight.